Hi everyone, this is Raquel from Scrap Cozy and today I'm going to show you how to create this card. I'm creating this video as part of a challenge by Pepper Artsy based on patterns. This specific card is a birthday card from my friend Nicolas who likes to wear cardigans with blue shirts, hence the design of the card. So let's start by preparing the base. We're going to take two inks, distress inks. One is Pumice Stone and the other one is Hickory Smoke. This one that I'm using is Hickory Smoke now. And I'm applying it from the borders to the center to try to apply a bit of texture. Then I'm filling some gaps in with Pumice Stone, the other ink. And then I'll do the same for the pocket in the cardigan. The pocket is basically a square shaped uh, piece of paper for which I'll be cutting two of the corners. For that I'll be using a ruler just to trace a little bit uh, what is the angle of the cut. Then I'll cut with the scissors and I, I'll place that corner on the other side, opposite, so then I can get a symmetric shape. And then I'll ink in the same way with the two inks, the pocket, from the borders to the center, again to give a bit of dimension. And once I finish, the next step will be applying the embossing with embossing folder. I'm using an embossing folder with a chevron pattern and I'm making sure that my piece of paper is centered according to the pattern. And then I'll pass this through my cattle bag. The sandwich that I'll be using is an A plate, B plate, then my embossing folder with a piece of paper and another B plate on top and I'll pass it through and I'll repeat the same also with the pocket. As part of the paper artsy challenge we were supposed to use patterns and instead of stamping some patterns or something I decided to actually emboss it. I really love patterns, it's one of my favorite things. And here in the pocket what I'm doing is embossing just up until the top and leaving the border without embossing. This will give the feeling that the pocket ends in a kind of a ribbon or something on the top. Now what I'm doing is applying another bit of um, ink and this is to highlight still a bit more the embossed pattern. By applying this you'll get the feeling that it's actually a real texture, a real fabric, although it's not. I'll be cutting that corner because I'm going to place the sentiment there. I'm placing the ruler just in the form of the chevrons so then I have an idea of the angle that I'll be using and then I'm stamping the sentiment in a post-it note and then I'm placing it there. I will use that post-it note as a base so then I know later where to cut. And now I'll prepare my shirt. So I, I use um, Broken China Distress Ink and I will paint this in blue and then a little bit of Pumice Stone to give this vintage and aged look. Once I'm happy with the inks, I'm going to stamp my sentiment with Versamark ink, smoky grey. Now I'm trimming the paper so it fits underneath the jacket and the white pieces are not seen. And in order for it to appear, I'll be making the cutting on the jacket. And I'll put it all together and once I'm happy with that, I'm going to stick it with glue. Here I'm just inking the border to make sure it looks neat and tidy. And it seems an actual border of a jacket. And with a roller glue, 
and we'll stick all together. By the way, have you listened to the song? It's a song that my friend Albert Andreu has done for me, especially for my videos. I'm so happy about it, to be able to use it. I hope you like it as much as I do. And now let's decorate the card. I'm going to use some brats for the corners and I'll be making a hole by placing a little piece of foam underneath the card and then I'll use a punch to make a hole on each corner and I'll pass the brats through the holes and open the legs on the other side. And since they are very close to the edge, I'll be cutting the remaining legs with a Tim Holtz scissors to make sure that they don't appear on the other side. If you don't have such a powerful scissors, you can actually bend the legs towards the center of the brat, or you can use one of those scissors that are used for the plants because really you don't want to use some scissors that you actually like because you may um, spoil the, the blade of the scissor. Now I'm going to make the tag that is going to be saved and put inside the pocket. For that I'm selecting a paper, decorated paper on one side and then it's white on the other. I'm stamping with Benzamark ink with vintage sepia. And after stamping, I'll be cutting it to the size and the shape that I actually like. This tag is a bit too square for me, so in order to have a shape of a tag, I'm going to cut two of the corners a bit in an angle. Now I'm going to make the hole on the tag. As you see, it's the piece that hasn't been stamped on the tag. Because through this hole I'll be putting through some twine. Before that I'm going to put a bit of ink on the tag to make it aged on both sides. I'm using vintage photo and then walnut stain for the borders. I wasn't sure if using lace or twine, but then at the end I did went for the twine. Since the color was not matching, what I did was inking it and making match the color of the rest of the card. So now with a simple knot I'm just passing it through and I have the card ready to put it in the pocket. So the next step is assembling the pocket and for that I will be just putting um, glue on three of the four edges and you'll see that I'm not sticking it completely flat I'm just giving it a bit of an angle so then I make sure that the tag easily flips in and out and a little bit more of ink of course because there's never enough ink <laughs> and now that it's ready I will just ink the borders of the base and I will stick it with foam adhesive but before that I will place a piece of ribbon on the border of the jacket so then it seems like it's an edge between the jacket and the shirt and again I will use this uh, roller glue on it I'm making sure that the ribbon is um, longer than the actual piece of paper and the remaining of the ribbon I will stick it on the back as you can see here and now I'm ready to actually stick it so with foam adhesive as I said so then it will be a bit more 3D effect and it will have more volume
And this is the card for today. I hope you like it. Here there are some close up photos so you can see the detail, especially the chevron pattern, which seems real fabric. I hope you like it and if you did, please give me a comment and give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.